Hi all, I'm Vani Kumar. Welcome to the series of STM32 Driver Development. As a part of this series, today I will explain you how to create a new project in STM32 Cube ID. Okay, first let's open STM32 Cube ID. Okay, it's opening. Now, here you need to select a workspace. For that, I'm gonna browse it. I'm gonna create a new folder with the name STM32. Works space 001. Okay, let me select this folder. Select this one. Now, at this particular location, your project is gonna launch. So, click on launch. Okay, it will open STM32 Cube ID at that particular folder. Okay, it's loading. Okay, now maximize it. Okay, see here, create a new STM32 project. Click on it. It's going to load the project. It is initializing STM32 target board. Here, maximize it. Maximize it. Here, you have to select, if you have only a microprocessor, here you have to type that microprocessor name. Here I have a board that is STM32 F407 discovery board. So, I have to click on board selector. And here I have to type my board name that is STM32 F407. Here see, STM32 F407 discovery board. Here click on it. And the same board will appear like here. Here see. So now select this board and click on next. Next. Here you have to give a project name that is STM32 driver development 001. Okay. And then here target language is C only and the target binary type is executable and targeted uh, project type is empty. Please select empty here. Don't select STM32 cube. If you select STM32 cube, it will create a project for STM32 cube. Okay. So now click on finish. Yeah, it's going to create my project that is STM32 driver. Here, see the project is created with the folders INC and the SRC. INC is nothing but the folder which consists of the header files. For now, we didn't create any header files. That's why that folder is empty. And SRE folder is initialized with the main.c, syscall.c and system.c. And this is the startup file where you can configure all the initialization steps. And this is how you can create a new project in STM32 cube ID. And in my next video, I will start uh, writing code to GPIO driver development. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section or else I will give you my mail ID, Instagram channel and Telegram channel in description. Please contact to me. Thank you.